Hello everyone, Mary Ann from Revealing Light Tarot. I wanted to look at tarot scopes for May. I'm going to start with fire signs. Now this is a general reading uh, for your rising sign. You can look at uh, where your ascendant might, might be placed and also if you have uh, your moon in a fire sign. Um, if, they don't, if it doesn't resonate with you uh, now, come back um, and look at it through the month. It may resonate with you as well. Cross watches, as I've said, are welcome. So let's start with Aries. We'll move through uh, to Leo and then to Sagittarius. So fire signs for the month of May, starting with Aries. Uh, show me Aries. I feel that for Aries there has been a greater um, drive. It's almost like uh, they found even in the midst of this, uh, what is going on globally at the moment, they seem to have found their found their drive, found their feet, found their inspiration, found their Mars energy because they're ruled by Mars um, and that is the uh, that is the action, it's taking action. So in some way they're more confident uh, than they have been for, for, for quite some time. But let's drill right down to Aries. Show me Aries for the month of May. Show me Aries for the month of May. Aries for the month of May. Show me Aries for Mm. So we've got this uh, Five of Cups here, uh, this Lost card. I feel this is in the past. Um, there has been um, some Aries uh, have lost things in the last uh, month or two. Um, it can even be losing loved ones. Um, it can be a loss, uh, a loss that a loss of work. Um, there's been something here where you have had to confront this loss, uh, and you've had to work out what you have left. Um, and this is where this Mars energy, your rule, comes in. Um, there has been this drive toward trying to trying to recover trying to fix things um this you know when i i'm reminded when we this five of cups comes forward um it you know this is about change uh, loss um downturns uh, those the the cyclical part of life where we have uh the ups and downs uh, and when we're in that um downturn in whatever way that is uh, that's when we seem to find the, our biggest inspiration. So that's that's great. There's been almost like a reprieve here. We've got the um, Knight of Pentacles. This is the reliability, uh, I think, of Aries uh, generally. Uh, it's an earth sign, but it's also to do with work and money coming in. There may have been a downturn in money, uh, which is what you were feeling, um, where you were feeling that loss. It could have been this job loss. But um, there is a reliableness. Uh, things have been slowing down, but you're still not, you know, this hasn't been a total, a total uh, loss for you. There's still this... You know, you've still got the ability to keep going. Um, you know, and and here is this energy that I was talking about with this eight of uh, eight of wands. It's talking about rediscovering, rediscovering this. Um, uh, I guess your your mojo, um, uh, having to like a bit like the phoenix rising from the ashes, having to work out a plan and a strategy about how you're going forward. And this is really where Aries are at their best when they engage with their um, that Mars-like energy and start to uh, get on that front foot. And boy, are you on the front foot with this chariot. Things um, are speeding up for you in some way. So even though you had this loss, even though you this was, to me, a little bit in the past, you've able you've been able to find your feet and and get going again and as a result you have actually um manifested this quickening of things um all right so there could have been um something offered to you it could have been an apology even there could have been surprise news um but i am seeing this loss in the past um this knight of pentacles uh with the three of pentacles if you um, if you've lost work or if there's been a downturn in work, um, some uh, for some Aryans um, their skills have been recognised, and it's almost like they are at their best in this current global situation. They've really been able because of their action oriented 
energy that is coming through um, uh, or if this hasn't happened yet this could be a feature of your May you're going to be taking action and things are going to unfold quite quickly we do have the Sun card um, so of course you know this is a card that indicates what is going on in the world the speed at which it's happening but I'm still feeling that you're able to um, get on that front uh, that front foot because I've got the four of wands here that's celebrations it's all, also a gateway um, as well I think even though your social life has obviously been hampered in some way as I said, Aryans are at their best when things are at their worst. Um, so in some way you're finding your finding your feet um, and you've you've been able to drive forward um, despite what is occurring in the world at the moment. Um, you're in a pretty good cycle in May uh, despite everything. We do have the wish card, the miracle card here, uh, and this is a number nine, again, indicating of you um, really digging yourself out of a hole, a loss, uh, and moving forward. I don't feel you're running yet, but you're so, because this night is a slow-moving night, but I do feel uh, that your energy is strong in May. Um, there's something likely to occur, a new start um, uh, after, and it could be this coincides with the easing of restrictions in May as well. Uh, it's been pretty tough, but but there is a movement forward here, um, absolutely a movement forward, another night, a night of wands. Um, I've got the chariot here, I've got the knight, I've got the four of wands, a lot, and I've got the eight of wands. The energy here is fire. The energy here is fire. Uh, let's see what's at the base of the pack. So we've got the ten of um Ten of Pentacles this could have, for some Aryans, uh, I, I, they could have been experiencing um, obviously a loss of money, but there could have also been a little bit of dissension within the family. Um, you know, you could have felt that you've been at the, um, and here we've got this Five of Cups, at the mercy of somebody who perhaps wasn't doing the right thing. You could have felt uh, like you were being stabbed in the back in some way. But Giving and receiving assistance, the other part of the Aryan energy is that they do like to help others. And uh, you've found your foot, feet despite, despite the going getting tough, you know, the tough get going. Uh, you, you've found your feet in a very difficult situation and you've been able to um, step forward because of that essential nature of yours. Um, you're a fire sign, you're ruled by this uh, forward motion, this Mars energy. You're tapping into that in May, uh, despite what may have happened in the past, and you are moving forward, Aries. Uh, well done, well done. Okay, let's take a look at Leo, what's happening with Leo. I'm using the Rider weight here. If I do have to clarify, I'll clarify with the Prism, uh, the prism Tarot. Let's take a look at this is classic Rider weight deck. Um, let's take a look at Leo. What's occurring with Leo when I feel into Leo's energy? What's happening with Leo? There's some karmic lessons I feel that some Leos are going through. Um, it's it's not easy for them. I feel that they it is a time where um, they've had to really uh, look and learn, look and learn, um, and I feel this you know could be continuing in May. Uh, there's a need to change the way that they're doing uh, doing something. But I've got the Ace of Pentacles, um, you know, jumping out of the deck. That That is new new starts, could be new job offers even. Let's have a look for our friends, uh, our Leo friends. Um, what's happening with Leo? Leo in the month of May. Can you show me Leo in the month of May? Leo in the month of May. Show me Leo. Leo in the month of May. Leo in the month of May. I think for some Leo people... They like things to be a bit more simple than what they currently are. Um, and they're having to learn that, you know, it's almost like they're having to learn to prepare for a rainy day. Um, all right, so we've got, yeah, the lockdown and the waiting game. It's very hard for Leos because they're very um, gregarious. They're very outgoing. And this lack of social interaction is, is, is really... Um, 
causing them to, you know, be a little bit confused. Um, but there's also, this is also karmic for Leos as well. They do have to learn to, um, you know, that some, for some anyway, not this is a general reading, that not everything's about a party. All right, so let's have a look. Uh, Leo, show me Leo in the month of May, please. Spirit, what's going on for Leo in the month of May? Leo in the month of May. Okay, so uh, the Ace of Cups, highly emotional time. That's the energy that I was feeling into. But also the need for a new start there. Um, mm, yeah, they've had to defend themselves in some way with this Seven of Wands. This is... Um, you know they feel like everything's coming at them. I'm sorry, Leos, but this is um, this is something that this is a learning time for you um, in some way. This is a general reading. Um, let's keep going. Yeah, as a result of what they've been through, it could have been in the last month or, or two. Um, there is a, there. This is at an emotional level. I feel from in May, Leos will be you know quite emotional, but this emotional. Um, I guess this fear, these feelings, this uh, they're, they're wanting to rebirth new starts. And, of course, Leo is another fire sign. They're very, very direct. You'll find them as leaders in leadership position. They're, you're going to be actualizing something into reality. So there is could potentially a new start. After having to, after feeling like you've had to defend yourself in the past, a highly emotional time, um, there is could be the start of something. It's only a page, so it's a small start. But there is definitely uh, the you know after being under siege, if you like, or feeling like you're under siege, you're actually learning that you have to actualize something into reality. No one else is going to do it for you. You have to do it, and so you start small. Okay, let's keep going. What's underneath the the Ace of Cups? Yeah, you know there are de you know decisions that you have to make. It is crossroads time. Um, somebody could make you an offer. Uh, we've got the Knight of uh, Cups here, but just watch watch it because sometimes this Knight of Cups is fleeting. Um, it could even you even you get an apology because it's underneath the uh, Seven of Wands. But sometimes this Knight of Cups can be a, po a bit of a poison chalice. Um, the Magician, yeah, there's been a lot of confusion and it is around your ability to make good choices um, in something. Now, this is in May. We're talking about Leos in May. Um, you're looking for clarity and you're going to have to make choices. Um We've got the Page of Wands now. We've got the Sun underneath that. Uh, I'm getting a, a draw. Obviously, all these readings will be coloured by uh, what is going on in the world at the moment uh, and the Sun, uh, what is going on uh, with lockdowns and shutdowns. So the Page of Wands, um, you're going to restart something, I feel. You're going to restart something in a very small way in May because uh, it's just been heavy going. This is the energy that I feel. It's like you're very emotional at the moment uh, and you're you're hauling a huge you feel like you're hauling a big load um there has been and it's been coming up for leos in the last few readings there has been this um abuse of power in the past but with this night here i feel that in some way it's going to be laid to rest um and that you're going to get an offer of something, even though it's not as big as what you thought. There's some sort of new start here for you. Uh, and again, um, you know, the Hermit card reflection. Um, you're having to do a lot of thinking uh, in this lockdown, uh, a lot of reflection, a lot of thinking around the choices you've made in the past. Um, now, there is a plan uh, because this um, page or is only a page of wands. Uh, there is something that is going to grow, something that will occur, something new that you've manifested that will occur in May. And it is going to it is going to take some time to come to fruition. But because of this smaller start, I feel you're going to be um, you're going to be happy with that. Because really you've been in the trenches, I feel. Uh, let's see what's at the base of the pack. Um, there has been a loss, I feel, of employment for some. Um, we've got the death card here, an ending of something. Because of uh, what was this five of swords, I'm, I'm feeling a, a loss of employment. 
but we've got the magician card so there is new energy uh, coming through with this king of cups um, and we've got the hierophant a higher source government um, if you're waiting on uh, a payment from the government if you're waiting on help if you're a business person it looks like help in the it, small help um, the beginning of help will uh, will come in May for you so tough a t bit of a tough reading for Leo's um, but something is going to shift in May uh, it's not a huge shift but it is a shift and it's going to just evolve and get better as time goes on okay so uh, that's Leo let's look at Sagittarius um, Sagittarius what's going on for Sagittarius in May what's happening with Sagittarius I've got to be very objective here because I'm a Sagittarian with a Gemini rising and my moon is in Libra so I can look at air and I can also look uh, yeah look at air air signs are very important for me as well but I've got a lot of plant planets in Sagittarius so I'm um, quintessentially a Sagittarian uh, Sagittarius all right show me what's happening in May I'm interested in this reading um, show me okay so I've got the two of swords appearing here um, that you could have to make some sort of decision in May. I'm not sure what that's relating to. Show me um, or coming to a crossroads of some description. Um, there are decisions for you to make. It's like, do I go ahead with it? Don't I? Um, let's see what the cards are saying. Show me Sagittarius in May. Show me Sagittarius in May. Okay, yeah, the Knight of Swords, um, there's some sort of truth uh, that is coming forward at the moment. It could have been in a difficult situation and um, and you're actually seeing the truth of it. And it's like um, it's like uh, things are unfolding. Uh, you're getting that enlightenment. Um, yeah, because something happened um, to, in the past. This is the Five of Cups. This is the Lost Card, Grieving. Um, I feel you're getting uh, the truth on a very difficult situation that has occurred for you in the past. Yeah, some Sagittarians had their heart broken, basically. Um, loss. Somebody could have even passed away. I'm terribly sorry uh, that that card has come up. You could, have got, you could have even been divorced as well. There's been this loss. But I tell you what, in May, this truth just keeps getting stronger and stronger and stronger because this night doesn't muck about. Um, so there is a truth coming forward uh, around a past situation where you've um, you've experienced loss or heartbreak. Um, yeah, you could also be juggling some finances. And again, there's this decision to be made as well. Um, how, how do I manage my finances? Um, let's bring the laptop down and see what else there is for Sagittarians. Um, a coming together, a circle of support, whatever was uh, lost or taken away, in some way is given back to you in another way. Um, now, what, what that other way is, we'll, we'll keep pulling some cards. Um, yeah, look what, what's underneath here. There ha There is a need for rest for Sagittarians as a result of this loss um, in the past. You're feeling a bit embattled. Um, and this is also the boundaries card, boundary card, reminding to put up these boundaries as well. There's a uh, an important message here around self-nurturing Sagittarians. Um you're holding things close to the chest as a result of this, um, you know, heartbreak or loss. Uh, could even be money loss for some as well. You're just going very, very carefully. Um, but look, underneath this two of pentacles, I've got the ace of pentacles, money coming into you. So if you're going to, if you're careful in May or if you've been juggling finances, you're going to get good news in May around finances that's lovely um strength and endurance with this knight of swords uh because these are two very very um they're lost cards um uh you know you've had to draw on your strength and endurance and the help of your friends as well which have been very important to you in this time of loss um the king of Pen pentacles i'm seeing a uh, earth energy sign here taurus virgo capricorn um uh, as being somehow instrumental uh, here 
Uh, this could be um, uh, a partner as as well. Um, this could be uh, your own business. Again, I felt there may have been uh, somebody I was talking to, possibly a lot of people that I'm talking to in these readings around the loss of income. Um, there's been a revelation here, and this is tying in with this Knight of Swords, this Queen takes can take the lid off her car off her cup you could also get a revelation in may around the situation that caused you loss um wow sagittarians you're being looked after because i've got the nine of cups here this is the wish card the miracle card something in relation to money or a situation you've been juggling perhaps a loss of money um or being shut out in some way all of this is changing because I have your healing card. You've shown up in your own reading. Things have been tough for you. Things are now changing. Um, things are becoming more balanced in May. Things are quickening up as a result of uh, revelations or things that you find out in May. Things will come forward very quickly. You've got enlightenment here. And, of course, you've got this beautiful Nine of Cups energy underneath the ace underneath the um the miracle wish fulfillment card um you're going to come into some money in may basically in some way um there is huge accent on victory here for you so um wow you've been in the trenches you really have uh, it's been a really really hard and difficult time for you but things are changing Sagittarius so you know you've shown that strength and endurance uh, you're healing um, I'm reminded to tell you in a healing uh, when you're healing uh, in a healing phase it's really important to self-nurture and this is what this Queen of Cups is telling you that's the other message um, don't you know don't uh, you know, walk before you run type of thing. Don't uh, go too quickly into things. Just stand back because there's a, he a really strong message around healing because you've shown up in your own reading. All right, fire signs for the month of May. I hope that you enjoyed that reading. Um, it's very overcast here, hence why I've shut, shut the curtains. But we've got, as always, in all my readings, this beautiful light that really wants to come through and says um, you're not going to stop me coming through but I've also had to turn the light on above me so hence you've got that light coming in as well for some reason uh, at the moment um, we've got this beautiful accent on light uh, and I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to detract from that so for fire signs um, all of you are drawing on in one way or another that beautiful baseline energy that you were that you were born that you were gifted with uh, when you were born with the planetary formations um, and these are tough times but uh, fire signs are rising uh, are rising to the challenge so um, I hope you enjoyed that reading I'll be back with another one soon thank you